Hi, I'm Ellie Mae Barnes, and today I'm going to read a couple of stories from Gum Nut Babies by Mae Gibbs. Gum Blossom Babies. Gum Blossom Babies are much harder to find than Gum Nut Babies. They are more timid being girls and are generally clustered together in their homes on the tops of the trees. So sweet is the scent of their frocks and so like real blossoms do they look that Mr. B often makes a blunder and settles upon the hat of a startled little person. It mostly happens that nuts and blossoms see very little of one another, so when they meet, they are rather shy, but very interested. When Signor Cicada gives a recital, all the blossom babies crowd in, but scarcely a nut will appear. Blossom babies, like the nuts, love all the bush folk and are even more tender-hearted. It distresses them that spiders will eat flies, so they rescue them when they can. Maybe that's why there are so many flies. They take much interest in their neighbours' affairs and love to talk. How many snakes Mrs Kookaburra had for breakfast, how Mr Possum was stuck up the wrong tree all night by a dog, how Mrs Wagtail's nest was robbed and such gossip.